The book, you. Ooh. Handbook on how to get a man. The book also exposed Trump's dirty macking techniques. <laughs> you know what this is. Mm. Trump liked to say that one of the things that made life worth living was getting your friend's wives into bed. Uh -huh. Wow. In pursuing a friend's wife, he would try to persuade the wife that her husband was perhaps not what she thought, that he'd have his secretary ask his friend, the man, into his office once a friend arrived. Trump would engage in what would, for him, more or less constant sexual banter. Do you still like having sex with your wife? How often do you get hard? Must, you must have had, you must have had a better f than your wife. Tell me about it. I have girls coming in from Los Angeles at three o'clock, top talent. We can go upstairs and have a great time, I promise. And all the while, Trump would have his friend's wife on the speakerphone listening in. Wow! Damn, you grimy! No honor among thieves. Damn, son! Damn. Nigga, screenshot in your private text wow. messages. Wow! Like, look how this nigga, look what he thinks of look, me. Look at that. Look, look at him. I mean, I don't want to make it spicy, but why is he liking all her Instagram photos? Come on, look. Damn, Trump. Which one of his friends do you think he's trying this with? Oh, uh, Mugen's wife. The, yeah, she definitely. Oh, yeah. Mugen's wife and uh, Mitch McConnell's wife. Yeah. Yep. Oh shit. Look at Mitch right there. He's like, I, please tell me you didn't sleep with him. <laughs> please, please tell me you didn't touch his little penis. His face like, please don't cock me. <laughs> oh, chill. They're doing a pino. He's just sitting in the back like, oh yeah, I get it. Get it. <laughs> do it. Do it to her, Donnie. Uh, turtle cuckold for him. <laughs>